Hey everyone, it's Eva Jono. Welcome back to more Crash Bandicoot 2. Last time was a fucking disaster. This video, we're going to go into Air Crash. Um, yeah, so we got the yellow gem from uh, Plant Food last video, and also the gems in Bear Down, and also uh, sewer or later, we had to take uh, the secret area in Bear Down to unlock this area of Air Crash. And now that we have this area unlocked, we will be able to get the box gem in, in this level now, which we couldn't get a few videos back, so... Yeah. Not a very hard, uh, little death route kind of area here. Just a, a shit ton of nitro, so just make sure you're wary of those. But it's not very long either, so yeah. That's it. You should have 47 boxes when you leave the area, make sure you do. Um, if you don't, then... Die and go back. That's all I can say. Alright, so let's continue the level as normal now. Hopefully we don't die. That'd be incredible if we could have a death-free video to make up for the absolute train wreck that train wreck that last video was. Oh man. So anyway, yeah, it's um I'm recording the last video and this video now has been recorded in the same night, so it's not like I walked away and a whole day passed and I'm recording a new video. No, I'm recording these two videos in a row even though the last video was an absolute disaster because I'm gutsy like that. I'm like, no, I can make that better and I will make it better. And that's exactly what we're doing so far in this video. It's actually going quite nicely. And I probably should not have said that because now that I've said that, I'm probably going to die like 100,000 times now. But, touch wood. Let's hope that is not the case. We do have a mask, which is really nice to know. I have, I have actually overrun that before, so I was just kind of cautious there. <laughs> Alright, that doesn't open up boxes, so we can just go ahead and just come straight down here. And there we go. Very nice, and we made that. Excellent, alright. I don't know why Crash has to centralize himself on platforms in this game. Like, in the original game, he never did that. I don't know why they're doing it in this game. Oh, you go... <sighs> Un unbelievable. Things are going so well. Oh, no, I just got a life back there, that's nice. So it blew up, yes they did, a lot of dust and things there, so. Alright, gonna wanna come over here. There's some boxes on the platform there. I don't know if this same glitch exists in this game as it does in Crash Bandicoot 2 or the original at least where you could explode on the mines and the explosion from the mines, if you line the jump up, you can land on the platform of the boat. I haven't tried that in this game and I don't really intend on doing that in this video uh, in the event that that causes a chain reaction of death, so... Because we all know how I can play in this game sometimes. If I die once, I'll die like eight times following it, so... Anyway, uh, one very unfortunate death in this video so far. Uh, it should not have really been a death, but it was because... I totally misjudged the jump, and I just got to deal with a loss, I guess. So anyway, that's very nice and smooth. Very good. Thank you. Alright, well now that we've got that, we can actually continue onwards. Uh, in the third warp room, we'll go, go ahead into uh, Road to Ruin. Um, there is a secret, or a death route in that. It's one of the death routes. It's a death route platform where... You aren't allowed to die before you enter it. After you enter it, you can die a thousand times if you really want to do that. Um, Alright, yes, yes, yes. But hopefully leading up to it, we don't die. Otherwise, you've got to leave the level and go back into it to get on the death routes. Um, the box gem, unfortunately, is not available to us just yet. So don't worry about uh, missing boxes in, the, in your first run of Road to Ruin because we can't get the box gem anyway. So just go ahead, get the death root gem, get the crystal. A uh, little tip though, when you get the death root gem, you got to go backwards a little bit after you leave the death root. Go backwards to get the crystal, or before you enter the death root, you can. I'll, I'll I'll show you guys when we get there. So anyway, I really really love how this level looks. Like this was the level I was looking forward to seeing most when uh, before this game came out. Mostly because it's. Probably actually my favorite level in the game. I just love this level so much. I love how it looks. Uh, the night sky. Uh, the really aesthetically pleasing ruins. 
Uh, make sure you don't over over jump that because it's not a very big platform there, so or a very big difference, in, very big jump, I should say. Anyway, here's our death roots. All right, I believe there is a life up here. I'm gonna go. Ah, go ahead and grab that. There is. Okay. And there are some logs coming here because I could feel it, feel it on my, uh, feel the vibration on my controller. So I guess that's that's handy. All right, let's, let's just line this up correctly. Oh crap! <laughs> I was trying to like just do a little sneaky, yeah, something like that, but I kind of like. I somehow pressed down on my D-pad. I don't know how I did that. All right, well that worked out quite nicely. There we go. Let's just do that there. Those things there aren't as hard as they are in the original game, which is kind of cool, I guess. It's not like a little bit easier. And there is our death root gem. Wow, invincibility. Yeah, I, I probably should not have got that. Just come back here and get the checkpoint if you want. There is our crystal there. Oh, I couldn't see shit. Oh man. That's just wonderful. That means I lose my um, masks as well. Fantastic. What a good video this is. Not that it matters anyway. We Masks are essentially useless in the next level we're going to be going into anyway, so... Oh crap! All right, let's try that again. There we go. Oh man! What the, the hell happened there? Don't know why I bothered getting that. But anyway, yeah, so there is the crystal, so we can't get the box gem, like I said. There's a the crystal and the death root gem there, there's the two that you can get. And we did, because we're cool like that. Anyway, there is only one level left now in the third warp room. That's unbearable. We're going to go ahead and do that now. There is a secret area in that level. Um, takes us to totally bare, which is the third polar, le polar level in this game. And we'll see if we can squeeze that into this video too. If we can't, then oh well, we'll just do it next video. Alright, let's go ahead. Do Unbearable. We're actually breezing through this game quite nicely, despite all the deaths. But, um, what episode? Episode 7. Uh, we're finishing up the third warp, which is pretty cool, I guess. And yay, I just found 10 cents. That's pretty cool. Oh boy. Alright. This is a chase level, by the way, but instead of being chased by a ball, you get chased by a bear. And that's why it's called Unbearable. It's probably one of two reasons why it's called Unbearable. The second reason for me to get to by a ball at the end of this level, but I'm sure you guys knew that. Okay, so this obviously isn't too difficult. It's actually quite straightforward. People think this is the hardest one. I disagree. I, I think they're all pretty equally as difficult as one another. I mean, like, you could probably say this one's a tad harder because there are a few more obstacles, but overall, it's, the level design's almost exactly the same as Crash Dash, a uh, Crash Crush, actually. Almost sometimes makes me think if it's the same freaking level, I mean, because it's, it's just laid out and it's exactly the same, so... Alright, so get that checkpoint there, and then we're going to go back here and do the bonus round first before we do anything else. You're going to want to get that too, so... Yeah. Just just saying, you're going to want to get that. And I don't know why I went the long way. I could have just gone straight up the top, up the top up here and just... Broken all those boxes, but whatever. Alright, very nice. And that's that. That's that bonus round all done. Alright, gonna wanna head back this way now. Uh, and kill yourself, essentially. Just jump straight down this hole. Takes you to the secret area in Unbearable, the death roof of this. Damn. 
hell was that? The, the death root of uh, this level, so... This is kind of tricky. They're bullets, by the way, so and they will kill you. That's why I'm avoiding them, obviously. God only knows why they're traveling so slowly, but oh crap! I'm gonna die. I did not mean to break that box. Don't forget to break it, by the way. Oh, okay, all right, cool, no worries. Yeah, don't forget the break because it does count as a part of the boss count of the level, so after you get these two lives up here, just come back down here and just break it. Because I've seen a lot of videos of people who've missed that and they wondered why they uh, missed the box. But that's the box they missed, so. Alright. Look at that. Take damage there, it doesn't really bother me all that much. Here. And there we go, that's that. Alright. And we're coming to the second last chase sequence here now. Luckily for us, we have a mask going into this. It's kind of nice, I guess. Uh, not that it matters if we fall, but you know, it's just, it's just comforting when you have a mask, I guess. <laughs> yeah, in this game you keep the mask when you get chased. It's kind of funny because in the original games you didn't, and I don't know why. Yeah, Crash Bandicoot 2 was the only game in the series where you lose your mask when you're being chased. But never worked that out why. Because in Crash 1 you didn't, and in Crash 3 you didn't, so... Kind of... Oh shit! <laughs> wow, that could have been a disaster. Alright, here's our polar bear area. Very nice. Final three boxes. Alright. Now, to get the secret area for uh, Totally Bear, what you're going to want to do is obviously collect, come make sure you collect your gem first, otherwise you'll, you won't get your gem. Leave the level. Well, don't, no, don't leave the level. Just, sorry. Jump out. Jump up here. And come to the front of Polar, and you'll be taken to a secret area. Well, not an area, you were taken to the secret war room again, uh, where we will now have Totally Bear Unlocked, but we're going to save that for the next video, though, okay, guys? So, next time on Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy, we are going to tackle the first of the real secret um, levels, because it's level 26. Uh, totally Bear, right? <laughs> Pardon me. See you guys then.